Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to look at a shooting and an explosion. <laughs> The shooting that we're going to talk about comes out of West Valley City, Utah, involving 20-year-old Elijah Smith. This whole incident started out when Elijah went to a Cricket Wireless store and stole several cell phones. The police were called to the scene, but Elijah had already fled on foot. About seven minutes after he had fled on foot, police officers spotted him at a gas station. They tried to approach him, but he took off on foot. Officers told him to stop, and he would not stop. Smith ends up running down the road to a residential neighborhood. He goes into a house's garage that was occupied by a man and his son. They told him to leave. He left and then ran into another home. The home that he forced himself into that you can see in the police video we're going to watch here in a minute was occupied by a 13-year-old, 10-year-old, and 8-year-old. Now we have a home invasion by Smith into a house which is only occupied by minors. What's Valley Police? There's some some guy here. Who are? Um, Do you know who he is? What's that Police? Come out with your hands up! He's in our garage. He's in the garage right now and uh, he came into a house. We're going to be clearing it green and I. Hey! Oh, sh you can tell tensions and adrenaline is running a little high when the chihuahua runs out of the little hole in the door and scares the shit out of you. What's that, please? please. Make yourself know. What's that? Put your hands up now. Put your hands up. Put your hands up where I can see them now. I said, let me see your hands. Watch out. I'm going to come through. Okay, go, go, go. Let me see your hands now. Somebody's hands. The first officer on scene sees Smith inside the garage. He tells him several times to put his hands up. According to police reports, they tell him approximately 15 times within the 24 seconds that they're in the house before shots are fired. Smith is on the other side of the car in the garage. The first officer goes around to the rear of the car where he pulls his taser out. He was trying to hide in the garage and they spotted him pretty quickly. You can see that the primary officer, the first one in the door, has his taser out, probably because he's got some lethal cover from the secondary officer coming through the door. What's that, please? Make yourself known. What's that, please? Put your hands up now. Put your hands up. Put your hands up where I can see it now. I said, let me see your hands. Okay. Let me see your hands. Put your hands up. 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 They're telling him to get his hands out of his pockets. He has one of his arms up in the air. He's digging around in his right pocket, according to the police reports. That's when he makes a sudden jerking motion out of his right pocket. The second officer through the door opens fire and fires three shots. At approximately the same time, the first officer who is behind the car fires his taser, which isn't successful. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! The third officer through the door doesn't fire any shots, but we do get some pretty good coverage from his body camera footage of everything that happened. Hey! Oh, shit! What's that, please? Make yourself known! What's that, please? Put your hands up now! Put them up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up where I can see them now! I said, let me see your hands! Put your hands up where I can see them now! Put your hands up where I can see them now! I said, let me see your hands! Get them up in the air! Right now! The only weapons that could be found on scene, uh, from what reports say, is a modified screwdriver. I don't know what they mean by that, and the reports don't really say. But just let me know what you think about this shooting in the comments below. The next video that we're going to take a look at comes out of Hearst, Texas, where a house exploded and it was all caught on dash cam. A driver claims that he lost control of his vehicle after the brakes failed on it. He crashed into the house and severed a gas line on the side of the house. Officers arrived on scene shortly after, and that's when this happened.
None of the officers on scene were severely injured, but the three people in the house suffered severe burns. Everyone, that's all I have for you today. There's not going to be any ads on this video, so shameless plug. Go over to twitch.tv slash Donut Operator and subscribe using Amazon Prime for free. Check out DonutOperator.com to see some pretty sweet t-shirts, and if you want to, you can go over to my Patreon and pledge a few dollars. Every little bit helps. Everyone, please have a fantastic day.